The second de deficit is a deficit of another kind. It is not an economic deficit. It is a deficit of trust. And no one else is going to talk about this one because if they have been talking to special interest group, you can't. And all I want to leave behind with you is this thought. The people of this country no longer trust their institutions of power. We look at Congress. What, 8% approval rating in Congress with, among the American people toward Congress? I'd like to know where those 8% are hiding out. Everybody knows Congress needs term limits, and nobody wants to talk about it. I'm going to lead the charge in this country to make sure we get term limits. Yes. Congress to file right out to become lobbyists where they trade in on their insider information relationships, which only adds to cynicism among the American people when they look at Congress. And I say, I'm going to shut close that revolving door. And you know what? And little things like maybe cutting the pay of Congress until they can maybe balance the budget. <laughs> say we look at Congress and there's no trust. No trust by the American people. We look at the executive branch. No trust. We elected a president, great hope. You can win on a mantra, but that's mean you can lead. We wanted this economy fixed in the first two years, and he fundamentally failed to deliver on the most important issue of our time. Instead, we get health care reform, Obamacare. We didn't want it, we can't afford it. And now we're stuck with it. One or a few of them here are the first things I do when I become elected president. But we look at the executive branch, a time when this nation desperately needs leadership, and we don't have it. No trust.